In today's competitive market, growing business requirements are driving organizations to delegate control of their network to third-party providers. The potential benefits of moving to a managed network service provider include reduced cost of ownership, improved operational performance, and external technical expertise. But how does it affect network management? Network becomes the most critical part of the business or the heart of the business because being an offshore delivery center in India, uh, we have to be connected to our head offices, our clients across the globe uh, to primarily transfer data before we can work on them. So if uh, the network doesn't perform, then we are out of business. Um, considering um, uh, maybe the voice, the data, the converse uh, network requirements uh, from the uh, overall uh, IT infrastructure management, I think the key is network management. It is becoming difficult and more difficult, more complex for, for organizations to have internal network resources to manage the, the current infrastructure. The reason is that um, the technologies are changing and the complexities are increasing in the, in the environment and it becomes very difficult for, for them to uh, support the network uh, for, uh, for, for internally. Yeah, see, when you move it to a managed service provider, uh, the boundaries that they operate will be on the network side. So the moment it hits my network, there's, there's another, uh, you know, a pretty large internal network that has to work in sync with what's on the external network. So while this internal network, you still need people to manage. So that's where I say that there has to be a mix of internal and, and uh, third party providers, uh, which gives them a good mix. The cost of expertise is, is, uh, is challenging today. Acquiring, retaining, mentoring the expert resources is, is very difficult. Recommendation would be that uh, you should certainly have a hybrid model where actually you are looking forward expert to perform the expert services and you can continue to have uh, the network services being managed as level one and level two. In the last uh, three, four years, we've been uh, seeing that we, there is a need for additional bandwidth as the business grows. And we just realized that uh, there's no limit to the bandwidth that uh, you continue to grow. Or rather than that, we thought, okay, let's take a different approach to first see what's running on the network prior to even deciding how much we need. So we requested Tata's uh, to, to help us in that uh, <coughs> requirement. So they came out with a service called as an application aware network audit, where uh, they would do a complete audit of the network and give you insights into the number of applications that are running on your systems, uh, the users who are using those systems, and uh, how is the behavior of those applications, what are the protocols that are being used, whether you can compress data to optimize your network and so on. So it gives you a host of uh, reports which gives you uh, a good idea of uh, how you want to take it forward. Mm -hmm.